and hopefully we can actually start building up already so this is improving this spy network with east frisia should be enough and but east frisia is now part of the hre so coalition there's non-forming east frisia would be interesting because it's coastal and it is part of our trade node Okay, let's first things first. Let's start by getting a claim. Pull you back. If I were to declare, Austria would come in. Because we're no longer part of the HRE, we will always have to fight Austria. So that's actually something I'm not really looking into I, I, I'm not looking forward to that I'd rather expand my range over here so if I were to declare war here everyone would join and I would not care let's build up some spy network first because we'll have to wait until this colony is developed we should actually start sending some troops over here Let's do... Something like... This? It's 10 troops. Will he be able to take care of that? That is the question. Culture is Dutch. This is still building up. That's good. And this is... Another trade note. To the Caribbean. Arr, pirates! Arr, I like it. Pirates of the bloody Caribbean. Um, it is jungle. How much force limit would be there? I don't think we need that many troops, in all honesty. Okay, let's group these guys up. Let us do... And a calf. And we'll send these guys. Over there. And the rest will keep drilling. I'm happy to see that my manpower is actually going up. We've lost the causes belly against Castile in a trade dispute. Are we the golden bull or whatever? So, we can actually start integration of this fella as well. And I really don't see any reason to hold this off. 11 tree of 6. We have France, we have Sweden. Potentially, we could ally ourselves with Scotland. So let's start by offering you an alliance. And... <laughs> Support independence, yes. Annex this vessel. And we'll go with military technology, negative 10. I don't want to fall behind too much on this, but we still have 7 years. That would be nice. We have a lot of production, but we're falling behind on these things. And and this is just pure. We need money. We need to start building this. Like Friesland. Look at that. 
0.36. We could actually probably get some loans to get this all started. Royal marriage with Scotland, I'll take it. Scotland's happy. Yeah, they're happy campus right now. We're still getting more than enough. How many ships can I have? Ah, oh, we can have a bunch more. I would like to build... 10 more of these. So my troops are here. That's sweet. Uh, lose prestige. And gain loyalty with the clerisy and papal influence. I'll do that. Let's hunt down these guys. Very, very small army. Don't really need all of that. Yeah, you can heal up. You've done well, young one. We'll keep those troops over there. And once these guys are healed, they can actually go back. Let us make... 10 more transports. And so we can just create a template. 10. Save. Template. There you go. Way easier. I want to get more ships into this. Yeah, weren't we going to save up our money? Yeah, we were going to save up our money, wasn't it? England is one more year away, actually. And I would like to get all of this. There's no real need not to do this. Bremen and East Frisia. East Frisia would be nice. What we can do is... We can piece him out, right? Well, we'll get this one province... We'll start coring. And before we end the war, we need to make sure that that core is done. So, I would like... Oh, I, I, I don't think I like that. I want to keep uh, being a monarch. Yeah, we're king. We 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 are a monarchy. Even though eventually it it will change, I don't really see the reason to change this. The burgers' influence would change. Let's, let's keep this. I, I, there's no real need to change this right now, right? Truce with East Frisia has, uh, has been ended. Can we... Yeah, you're, you're up and dandy over here. You. I want you to go back. Back home. At least back over there. We can make a few more states by the looks of it. I don't think that is worth it, in all honesty. Ulster? And we'll go with the other one. This one. Not that much. We're integrating the other guy. Uh, Denmark has announced as their new rival. Speaking of rivals. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm at 50. No diplomat. Just my bloody luck. Get you back. Yeah, and, and my spy is just completely... Um, 
You wanna see King Ridley dance? Of course I wanna see King Ridley dance. I'm from Denmark, cool. Well, Denmark's my rival. Hopefully you don't mind. Um, we were actually allied. <laughs> yeah, that didn't end out. That uh, didn't turn out well for him. I was, I was having a brain fart here. Someone help me in my thought process here. I was doing something. Thank you, myself. I was checking if I could send an insult. Nope, not to you. Denmark. Eh, Poland. Poland, Poland, Poland. Cannot send an insult, but he's at war with the Teutonic Order. So, what we can do is give him a tiny bit of a subsidy. There we go. That will give me a point. Who else is at war with uh, Poland? And my other rival is Austria. We can send him an insult. But it won't do us any good. <laughs> yeah, sorry buddy. Sorry buddy. Uh, we're making four. Eventually I will have to take some uh, land from Denmark. As you can see, Sweden broke away. Uh, so what happened, what happened was I was allied to Denmark. Sweden, Muscovy, uh... Lovanian order and I believe one more declared war for the release of Sweden and that was so overwhelmingly outnumbered that was like yeah I, I don't think we're going to be doing that Portugal would be considered as a ally. You know that 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 could be interesting. Look, you don't hate Portugal, you hate Castile. And I'm kinda behind in Yeah, I still have some. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go military alliance. I will take absolute the best care, the best. I will develop it. I will make it a powerhouse. It's currently, funny or not, we're, we're the eighth, eighth strongest fella here. <laughs> never saw that coming. Actually, I never saw it coming. 224 guys in there. We are. Mm, we're getting close to our very first claim. Uh, we should actually. First things first. English war, and when the English war, our truce with Paul Moradia is done, uh, when the war with England is done, we'll go take a lot of this territory. A royal marriage from Portugal, except that's accepted. But yeah, I will, I will take good care of it. Is everybody happy here? No, not everyone. We need more terrain, and we need to start taking that territory, that power away from these fellas. Cruise with Augsburg will gain influence or prestige. Friends opinion of the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the prestige. It's fine, man. Next up, England in November. And we have to remember that England does own some provinces over here and they are ours they just don't realize it yet we'll take them we'll take them there's 8,000 natives over there that, that's a lot are my other ships done yes okay um i want everyone to go here And we'll uh, group these up. There we go. 
Trade League has been disbanded uh, with Venice. <clears throat> we get some amazing generals here. I should actually get my troops, like, in London, so we can immediately go for them. So let's move into London, now we have 20 transports, that actually goes a lot faster. Okay, let's get our very first claim here, if it's possible already. Yes, it is. There we go, first claim. And we'll keep on going until this one is stable enough. We'll save up on money and get production started. To base production in Groningen. Yeah. It's funny to think that Denmark wants... Was... I know, right? So I've been looking... You know, everyone's been looking like Vikings and stuff like that. And how the world then worked versus now? Like Denmark, Norway and Sweden, which is just, just several kingdoms and stuff like that. And... You know, that Ireland, Ireland, most of the kings actually come from a snake in the eye. Yeah, that's actually, uh, there's this uh, YouTube site, it's called uh, Useful Charts. And it will show you a lot of the uh, succession going on with the kingdoms in like Norway, Sweden, Denmark. So it's like, like uh, I believe from Denmark or was it Norway, and yeah, Norway was... Uh, fine air like Harold then you had uh, I believe Sweden was under Ragnar and you had Denmark under I don't know if it's it's the same guy like Olaf but um, it's just funny that that from Sweden towards because I believe Ivor actually went to England and Ireland now that's just insane that's just insane. And all this happening, like, like, so many years before actually the Netherlands was a thing. So cool. So amazingly cool. I really like that. So there are some Scottish pretender rebels going on right now. Losing our great power status. Yeah, for now. It's fine. We got a free diplomat. As soon as this truce is up, it, it's done for them. Uh, we're going to be... Um, prestige and stability for money. I'll hire him. We'll get a loan. And the prestige, it, the truce has extended. I've expanded. Bremen and East Frisia. You know, it is annoying that I don't have troops there. Um, but first things first. Look, the combined power of them... That's not doing a lot. We could actually call in Scotland with the promise of territory. And I'm not going to because I don't need... I don't need it. We'll take... I'm sure. So let's take that right now. They honored the call. You bastards. So. I'll send some troops back. But by the looks of it. It's like 5, 6, 7, 8k. I'll send 12k back. Like for now. So let's do. Two cannons. Actually three. I need three for two points. I'll send. Two calf. I'll send something like this. Select these units. Go there. 
Uh, Denmark, Sweden, 10 years later, Sweden, and yeah, you know, it is a, it is a hot mess. It is absolutely a hot mess. I love it. Military access, sure. So we're going to get my guys in there and we'll get these guys out. So we had a plan, right? We had a plan to peace out East Frisia and take the province without Austria being absolutely pissed off at us. Yeah, we'll just take this. And we go sit on, ton up your, or on your capital. And he is beelining it immediately to a level 3 fortress. He's amazing. He is absolutely smart. That is really smart, dude. Okay, you. Um, we'll split this up to make this easier. So, 7, 3... Four, four, and four. Let's get all of this. Ah, look at that. That's all of the uh, the English troops right now. No problem. I'll take this back later. Th this is what we are after, right? This is the war goal. I, I would definitely can. Yeah, I would. I would be interested. I would be very interested in playing as Denmark, especially if if I can keep Sweden under control. Let's help this siege a bit. Everything over here. Eventually, they, they will have to start sending people back. We can block them off. I think we should block them off. You. Get over there, there's ships. I don't need troops from friends. Let's get ready for that uh, army of theirs. Let's help that a bit. And let's block some troops. Just, ah, uh, well, not enough. Shame. So this is about to fall. We have to deal with this. So we'll, we'll peace out him. Yeah, he's back. That's fine. Come on. Give me the capital. There we go. So we got this, right? We're still at war. So we need to make sure that we call that up immediately before that war ends. Let's go take out that trip. I still don't want to fight this entire army though. So when we take out this trip, we still have to land our troops on, on Bremen. We'll probably are able to get him out. There we go. Well, it's it's not it look, look. I know sizes and stuff like that, but it it does it's not that important. Let's get our troops over here. 
Can we actually peace out him without doing anything? So let's send our troops over here. And let's go deal with the English. When this fort falls. And it will. But uh, Denmark is pretty well developed. Vessels have been lost in dangerous water. Wait, seriously? What the hell are you doing? Why are you over here? Protecting trade. You know, you dig, you dumbass. Get over there. Ah, they're all going to be lost. You stupid. Idiots. <sighs> That's just lovely. That's just bloody lovely. That is just, that's just pissing me off, you know. We should fight this. There we go. Take care of the other army. We go to this fortress. Royal marriage again with Sweden. We can actually get that to level 10. Or to tech 10 actually. How is the institutional spread? Can we embrace it? We can embrace it if we had more money. Seriously man. What the hell were you thinking? So, where's my other navy? Protect trade, English channel again. It's almost nothing. There's a few, a few transports. And the English are now starting to be annoying. Oh well, first fortresses and armies, then we'll see what else happens. Let's see if we can get there in time. This fort is still quite weak, so it should be falling really soon. Probably next tick. Five seven.
And they were bringing aboard new tropes. That's what I think. He's been doing great. He's been doing absolutely fantastic. We're still integrating him. Uh, let's see if we can actually get some more claims. 